What is this year's largest initial public offering in American stock market? The Chinese company, ZTO Express. ZTO Express made its public debut and raised 1.4 billion US dollars on November the 27th. China Matters will show you how the delivery industry works in China. This is the package distribution center of ZTO Express in downtown Beijing. Every morning and afternoon, the delivery men come here to collect packages that should be sent to the neighborhood. Look at these piles of packages. They're all to be sent today. How they are sorted by hand. In Beijing, ZTO Express has over 200 distribution centers for last mile delivery services. China's domestic courier services are dominated by private companies like ZTO Express and several competitors. They beat out international companies like DHL, FedEx, UPS, mainly by pricing policy. This is based on a low cost of labor. According to an e-commerce employment report by Alibaba and the Beijing Jiao Tong University, 53.4% of Chinese delivery men earned from 296 to 592 US dollars on an average month. Delivery is hard job to do, as many as over 100 packages to be sent every day. Delivery men ride this motor tricycle, rushing from one place to another, no matter what kind of weather condition is like. Now, the single stay is coming, so they have been working 16 hours a day. ZTO Express also makes the second biggest Chinese company IPO in the US after Alibaba, which made history with its 25 billion blockbuster IPO in 2014. ZTO was founded in 2002 and has gained 14% of the market share in China, according to an iResearch report. ZTO Express is not alone in the industry. Major Chinese delivery companies including STO Express, YTO Express, and Yundai Express are all working on their own IPOs in China this year. A battle is drawing near in China's delivery industry, and everyday users will hopefully benefit from spoils of war.